Police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. Yeah, you do, I guess. Oh, oh! I don't think I've checked in here. Oh! Who's that? Uh, hey. I'll talk to you in a minute, but I want to look in here first. Ah. Uh, hmm. Open. It won't open. It won't open. Awesome. Exactly what I wanted. Alright, hey sir. Officer, 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 officer. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. The uh, ropes. Elliot ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm looking for a Brian Burnham. He works locally, in the First National Grocery Store. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. No. What happened here, Constable? Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass, then? No. You'll have to go another way. Constable Robes. What you after now? You ever meet Brian Burnham? I couldn't rightly say his eyes I remember. The burglarizing of the First National is big news in the Arkham Press. The Burnham lad must be one of your prime suspects. Any luck tracing his whereabouts? No. That'd be a matter for the Order. The Order? Isn't this a matter for the police? Yup. That too. Who is the Order? Them's that look after affairs there at Innsmouth. And you'd mind your business not to be asking too many questions. Yes, sir. Got it. Do I have subtitles on? I don't think I do. There we go. He's nothing more than a thug. And I don't feel like pushing my luck. He's nothing more than a thug. And I don't feel like pushing my luck. Bye. It's locked. It's locked. It must lead to the back of a variety store. Can I come over, please? No? Okay, fine. Hmm. Oh, that leads to the back of the variety store, so let's try looking back in the variety store. It won't budge. It won't open. Awesome. Anyways, uh... Hey, buddy. You look nice today. Extra sexy. These scratch marks yep, look yep. like they were made by some kind of animal. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. So what I need to do is go here. It looks like I need some sort of lift. Yep. There. Okay. The ladder breaks. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know that that had happened. <laughs> Oops. That does not seem good. Oh, we're awake. Whoever's down there, you can rock. What a jerk. I mean, yeah, man, that's just rough. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. Unfortunate. Me. Uh, so... It's not important. Oh! Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I can move that, but I wanna... Uh... Hmm. A local disturbance, September 6th, 1915. Evening, I guess I'm becoming a victim of my own success. After closing the last five cases so fast, the papers have been calling me a local hero, but I just had a run of his lucky hunches. That's all, I'm just another cop doing his job. So there's a disturbance at a local residence. It's probably just a bunch of kids hopped up on moonshine. Why call a detective? Why call in a detective? Maybe the uniform boys are, are sore at being out in this weather and they want to share the joy with the local hero. It won't be the first good natured prank I've had to take since those newspaper reports. I don't know though, something doesn't feel right. It's more than a regular bad feeling. It's hard to explain, but it's strong. Just like me. September 6th, 1915. I'm probably just tired. Those dreams don't help. I can't remember when I last got a good night's sleep. I, it must be a month at least. Right about that time I started my run of lucky hunches. The dreams have been getting worse lately. I'm almost afraid to close my eyes. Bourbon helped me at first, but not anymore. The lack of sleep must be affecting my nerves. 
whether it is or not, I better get going. That's unfortunate. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. I just bloody read it, you idiot. Nope, I can't get back up there. Jesus Christ, man. What a real jerk. Yeah, that's not cool. Uncool. Uh, where can we push it to? So we can push this all the way to here. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I guess what's done is done. I guess I did it now. Awesome. Creepy. Very creepy. Mu music. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. The window is smashed. And I can see the back alley. Oh, this was the dark room, man. Yeah. Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Awesome. Or not. Oh well. Let's head back up. What the hell's that? Watch out for ammo pickups. Ammo will always carry across the next chapter, but the quantity you can carry for each weapon is capped. The interface shows the total rounds you are carrying, including those in the gun. Close, close that door. Thanks. Do the I get a gun? The printing press appears to have been sabotaged. I think I get a gun. I hope so. General notices. They're all dated 1846. Oh, that's strange. Maybe they're just gonna give me ammo, but it's not a gun. Newspapers lay scattered in molding heaps. Alright. Some doors you encounter will be bolted. On one side, action the bolt or unlock to lock the door. Door bolt can come in useful when escaping from enemies. The door is bolted shut. Not anymore. Oh, and that leads back out. Awesome. But what's... Oh. Holy shit. Yeah. Indeed. It's literally a hanging dude. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. I want to come back down. Is this the guy who... The poor woman must have taken her own life. Oh, it's a woman. It couldn't have been then. I was thinking that that was the guy at the start who could, who uh, Can't hung see himself. Of use. Uh, you remember him? You know the guy who hung himself, and then he died. It won't budge. I don't know. Maybe you're just watching part three instead of part three, part four. I don't even know what part I'm on anymore, man. And this leads right back out here. General notices. They're all dated 1840s. Newspapers lay scattered and molding. It won't budge. Ah, damn. Uh, ooh, does that lady have a gun, maybe? I wonder what could have driven her to such a desperate act. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. There's nothing. Ah, okay, okay. I just want a gun, man. I just want to pew pew up some police officers. You know, you know it is. Now let's Hello, say, <gasps> Jesus Christ! Do I know you, Lucas Mackey? Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna save here. Override. Ah, oh, only five save games. Damn. It won't budge. All right. Oh, Mackie. Lucas. Where'd you go? Where'd Lucas go? It won't open. Damn. Mackie. Do I still have? Ah, I still have the rum. That's... At least I still have to run. Oh. What the? Better keep your trap shut. I won't tell him anything. It won't budge. Ah, oh, crap. What are you two doing? Oh. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. Ah, oh, that's nice, I guess. These odd-looking folks seem pretty hostile. They don't want to talk to strangers. Well, yeah. Who would, man? I don't like talking to strangers. I mean, me at the shop. It my, won't budge. My average interaction with a cashier, or, or like a person who d does stuff like that. You know, my average interaction is like, please, just just let me go. I don't want to talk to you. I just want to go home, man. I, I just want to have a tea. I just came here to get some milk. Please, leave me alone. Or something similar to that. Won't open. Won't open, but we're going to give that alcoholic a bit of rum. You know, this is... Uh, th don't do this in real life. If there's an alcoholic, do not give him more alcohol. Ooh. If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less thirty-seven years in old lady Warren's house. Before that, over by a fishing canary. Can canary. Old lady Warren's. You live in the town poorhouse. Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Sidlock's whistle, and I'll tell y'all. Good news. What do you know about the variety store robbery, old timer? That'd be Tom's old store. Stacked with all sorts of knickknacks and such. So you know Tom Waits? I know he took the third oath that I wouldn't. I... I'd rather die than take that. What oaths? I don't understand. <laughs> Just fetch him a bottle of fine liquor, young fella, and I'll tell you all. Well, boy, do I have the gift for you. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh, uh. Thanks, I guess. Yeah. Now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor and lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Uh, old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that to answer their prayers. All right. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside of reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man, 
I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Ah, uh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good to us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old wastes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Awesome. Thank you. Where did Captain Obed Marsh learn of these heathen matters? In Warren. Oops. I didn't mean to press that. I'm an idiot. Um. I think he's had his fill for the night. Yeah, I'd say so. Zadok? Zadok! Curse you, lad, for staring at me with them eyes. The old Captain Manel, and he's staying there. He can get me. Uh, he can't. No, no, he can't get me. I had nothing done. I ain't done nothing or told nobody nothing. You okay? Uh, I'm just gonna walk away. I'm gonna go to the poor house. See you, buddy. Oh, what's that? It's just an advertisement for the local Methodist church. <laughs> no. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. All right, miss. I will. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. Okay, Rebecca. See ya.